Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew and in this video I just wanted to give you some more updates about my progress as a rebinder. I've been getting into this kind of as a real side gig now and I just wanted to show you my latest creation here. So I'm not sure what number rebind I'm on now. I'm somewhere in the 20s I think uh, but this is one that I'm pretty happy with and so I wanted to show it off. So here's uh, what my spines are looking like these days. I've been getting a lot better at tooling these out so they look really nice and then also uh, creating these lines along the edges and around the ribs that you can then tool all the way around the edge to give it a really cool look. So I'm really liking how those are turning out. You can see I'm still doing the same thing with stamping. One thing that I would really like is to get some different um, type for my stamping to get something bigger. This is a little small here on the front for what I would kind of prefer. Um, but one thing that surprised me is how expensive getting that type is. So uh, I got a pretty good deal on what I'm using here, but I would just like something that's a little bit larger. This still looks nice though, and this is a small Bible. This is a hand-sized uh, UBS Greek New Testament. I'll see if I can get a good comparison here. This is this is a personal size ESV study Bible. A little smaller edition, you can see real similar footprint there. Although obviously the study Bible's super thick. Anyways. Uh, some of the new things that I also did on this, I don't think I showed you the stitching really thoroughly in my last video. And I've also done things a little bit differently. I bought some smaller pricking irons that I like better, and I'm using a thinner thread. So this is like an upholstery thread that's quite thin. It's made of nylon. I'm hoping it's sturdy enough to be really durable. So far, it seems to be holding up just fine. Most people would use like a waxed braided polyester kind of a thread. Um, this is a little bit different, but I like how it's really small and subtle as opposed to some really thick hand stitching that you'll see on some rebinds. I think that works really well. And then you can see another new thing that I did. This is the first time I tried this on this Bible. It was a, a gilt line here, and then also I did one right there. And this only turned out okay. You can see that stamp is a little bit imperfect, the word new. And then there's some kind of weirdness around the edges of this line, but it worked all right. And then as far as the gilt line goes, it looks really good on the straightaways, and then the corners are a little bit rough. Um, all I did for those corners was get uh, just like a, a normal credit card like this and uh, use that as my kind of round edge. And I did the same thing for the tooled line on the outside here as my guide. And I think that worked well, but it, it's hard to get it perfectly lined up with where your straightaway is, so that's going to take some more practice. These two are not as good, whereas over here on this side, that one's pretty good with a little bit of messiness. And that one's fairly good as well. I also think my corners have been improving. Here's a nice a nice looking corner right there. I've been uh, doing some more skiving work. Still have a lot of work to do as far as that goes at improving with that. But this is, I mean, that's solid looking right there. This one's not quite as good. It's a little bit lopsided, you can see. But overall, I'm happy. Some more things I want to improve on. Uh, my uh, end sheets, these are still cardstock. I want to find a material that I like better. And then I also haven't really settled on a good liner material. This is a Napa lambskin. It's okay. Um, it's a little bit thicker than what I like, and it, it tends to make this a little stiff. So here's the interior. I also did a little bit too much on the spine reinforcement for this one, so it's not wanting to get a nice arch under it. It's kind of wanting to keep the spine super flat. But it does stay open pretty nicely. I mean, this is great to read out of. Oh, I did want to show you this as well. As far as doing those gilt lines, I found this uh, little leather burning tool at Hobby Lobby. You can get a lot of good stuff at Hobby Lobby for pretty cheap, especially if you figure out when their sales are. And this worked really well for doing the gilt lines. It doesn't have a very, a very uh, accurate or professional temperature gauge, um, but if you just kind of play around with it using scraps of leather, you can get it to where it's just the right temperature to, to do those gilt lines super well. And so that's a... Uh, I was surprised at how well that worked. <laughs> anyway, I think that's just about it as far as updates go. Uh, but I'm really pleased with how these are coming out. I'm still improving a lot, and it's been super fun just doing this as, a, as kind of a side gig this semester. I've been able to do several of my uh, family members' Bibles and uh, people who've really needed them redone, and then I've done some brand new like this just to resell. And I've been happy with how they've been turning out, and I feel like I'm improving with every one that I do. So, yeah, it's fun to share this with you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. And by the way, this one is, uh, at the time of recording, still up for sale if you're interested in a really nice UBS Greek New Testament. 
Uh, this one's up for sale for $225. I'll put a link in the description to where you can shoot, shoot me an email about any inquiries for this Bible or other rebinding projects. So, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed following along with my progress as a rebinder.